this, this feature we're about to show you now should hopefully make it very easy for teachers who are introducing students to very basic programming to, to get to grips with the idea of um, control structures in programming, how particular statements relate to the logic of the program. So if we type a, a chunk of C code here, for example, and we right click, we have a new option called convert custom C to icons. And when we select this, um, a, a brand new conversion engine within flow code itself will pass the C code that's been written and uh, replace that block of C code with an equivalent set of flowchart icons. So you'll see here, we now have uh, a series of flowchart icons which correspond to the statement in the original C code, as well as some useful conversion messages for the user. So as you can see, suddenly after looking at an original C code icon with containing a, a chunk of C code, we can now press a single button and we can actually immediately view the equivalent flowchart, which allows us to, to mentally sort of become accustomed to, to, to the logic that that code represents rather than the syntax itself. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you can, quite often when you're, when you're, when you're looking, say, for examples, you'll, you'll find a chunk of C code, and it, it's, it's really nice to be able to take that code and, and stick it straight in the flow code engine and convert it to icons. But as well as that, you can sort of you can gain familiarity with with coding in C. Um, you can do a, a section of code in C and then try and convert it to icons. And if it's valid C, then it should convert fine. Mm. So it, it it's it, it opens up um, quite a few possibilities for for learning because if your student, if you if you're trying to uh, train a complete newcomer in programming you now have the ability to get them custom to the idea of a flowchart, which is very intuitive. We have branches here with if statements, um, you know, if x is greater than five, no, yes, and so on and so forth. And the student can then understand the, the logic of programming, and then you can very easily bridge them over into C code understanding by, by showing them C code and then showing them the resulting flowchart. So that's, that's quite a cool, uh, powerful feature, which, you, you don't see that sort of thing very often. Um, it's very, you, you find in software, it's, it's quite easy to, to, to make a visual representation become code, but for code to then be translated into a visual representation, which is more intuitive, is quite rare. 